Hey everybody, I'm Rob McDowell and I get to be the lead pastor at North Metro Church here in Marietta, Georgia. We are so pumped and excited to link up with all the churches in Georgia for this 404 prayer initiative. Now, when this whole pandemic thing happened, uh, like, like many churches, we began living in Paul's words to the followers of Jesus there in Philippi. And you, you probably know the, the verse I'm gonna talk about, right? You probably even have this verse printed on one of your, your coffee cups. I think it's one of the most highlighted verses in all of scripture. Uh, yeah, you guessed it, Philippians 4, 4 through 9. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I, I want to point something out here in this passage that really has changed the way that I pray and view God. And so Paul says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, with thanksgiving. The word Paul uses here is the Greek word eucharistia, right? It's where it's where we get the English word Eucharist, which of course refers to the Lord's Supper or, or communion. And so Paul is saying, as we pray, be grateful or be thankful, right? Thankful, grateful, I'm not sure which one is it. Aren't they interchangeable? Well, years ago, I searched out the meaning of these two words. And in, in one of the dictionaries that I, dis, I found, I discovered that there's a minor delineation on wording, but with major ramifications with meaning. And here's what I found. To be thankful is to ascribe value to the gift, as in, I am so thankful for my wife, I'm so thankful for my car, I'm so thankful for my job, my health, my friends, to ascribe value for the gift. But grateful means to ascribe value to the giver of the gift. So I'm thankful for my car, but I'm so grateful for my mom and my dad who gave it to me. So which one of these words do you think Paul intends for us to use? Thankful or grateful? I think it's both. Listen, Paul, I think Paul's saying during times where we could actually be paralyzed by fear and anxiety, he wants us to redirect our minds and hearts to be both thankful and grateful for all that we have, right? Be thankful for what we have and then be grateful for the one who gives it to us. And so let that launch us out into prayer. So without further ado, let's pray. Father, we desperately need you. But first, Lord, we want to say how grateful we are for you. You have first and foremost given us everything we need in Jesus. You are our perfect, loving, heavenly Father. Thank you for all the gifts in our lives that you call us to steward. As we beg you to heal our land, as we implore you to heal all of the people who have been stricken with this virus, as we beseech you, Father, to care for those who are on the front lines of this epidemic, as we pray for so many things, Father, we just want to do uh, we want to just share how we want to do so with grateful hearts. And so we come to you and you alone, Father, the giver of every perfect gift. In the powerful name of Jesus, please hear our prayers.